Samsung Electronics Engineering Academy recently hosted a graduation ceremony in an honor of their second class of graduates. The academy was launched in 2011 with the aim of creating jobs. So the Samsung um, Electronics Engineering Academy is a concept that came out of uh, our vision as a company to really build products and programs that are built for Africa. So one of the key challenges on the African continent, obviously, is um, young people that are unemployed. You know, when you look at the numbers of a billion population uh, on the continent, you find that uh, up to 70% of such a population is actually young people under the age of 30. And so we looked at that and with very, very high unemployment numbers. And so we didn't want to just train young people or get young people into, you know, menial jobs and so on. We wanted to get them into real jobs, you know. We wanted to develop uh, rare skills and so on. And that's how the concept of an engineering academy came about, that how can we pull the best of the expertise and the technology that we have as a company. The academy takes top students who are still in grade 10, grade 11 and grade 12, teaching them electronic engineering and improving the quality of maths and science teaching at schools. It also opens up employment opportunities for them as they would not struggle in finding jobs after school for they will already have the experience that will be required of them in the workplace. Uh, Samsung is based on research and development and engineering. You know, we, we are who we are today as a company because of uh, our engineering expertise um, uh, and leadership. And so we now brought that uh, knowledge and expertise into, into a school sort of level environment, into the academy, where we take uh, grade 10, grade 11, grade 12 students from technical high school based on, their, on the merit. You know, they have to be performing very well at school and then we put them into this program. And after, you know, when they exit the, the program in grade 12, we then place them into, you know, gainful employment. So that's really what the program is all about. These graduates, when they come into the company, they already have the, the self-confidence that they know the product or they have an idea how the products work. So it's not like they come in and they're clueless and they don't know what they're going to deal with. Um, so with these new learners or the graduates when they come in, they really show the, the knowledge that they currently have. We just groom them a bit to go into the call centre and assist clients over the phone. Uh, or even face to face when someone comes in, maybe a fellow employee comes and needs assistance from, from one of these graduates uh, or employees when they start with us. Um, so yeah, they, they have the self-confidence and the, the, the knowledge and they're very eager to learn um, with the company and grow with the company. With a huge gap in the electronics engineering industry, Chiliti Marala, Dean of the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Johannesburg says this academy would close the gap. The academy also prepares the students for university, making it easier for them as they further their studies in engineering. Professor Chileti added that such students would not experience any problems throughout their course. They are very, very useful because one of the problems that we face as institutions is that uh, people come to study engineering and they have never even touched engineering gadgets. They have never opened uh, a computer and see how it looks like uh, inside. And academies like this are very, very important because they expose students, uh, especially from disadvantaged areas, uh, to such skills, skills that are not necessarily taught in our schooling system. So we find this very, very useful. And there is a very good correlation between people who have played around with uh, toys and, 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 and opened them up and, uh, and success in graduating as engineers. Since the academy started, Rufilo Machaba, the overall top student, has been receiving awards for his hard work. Well, last year I got a Galaxy Tab and uh, a Smart TV. And this year, since I'm, I'm, I'm the ambassador for AFCON uh, and Samsung, and right now actually I have to go to the stadium in Rustenburg, and so we got a laptop, a camera, and, and uh, a Galaxy Note. And now I just received a washing machine and, and a Galaxy S3 from Samsung Academy. Rufula says any student can achieve just as much. I can say just work hard, guys. Work hard. I know it's hard juggling uh, our school and Samsung at the same time, but I think with, with, with much enthusiasm and hard work, you can really make it. The Samsung Electronics Engineering Academy is contributing in making the country a knowledge-based economy.